Hello, you two people! This is a ruin of Eritrea, formerly known as Dr. Z or Zechariah Blake, depending on where you know me from, what channel you're subscribed to, blah blah blah. I am finally coming back to making YouTube videos, so uh, you'll be seeing a lot more content, especially Lord of the Rings Online content, which is kind of funny me saying that as I'm in Star Trek Online. But I already did my Frost Bluff for today's and a bunch of other Lotro stuff that I didn't record because I was really into it. So this is pretty much my introduction. Um, I'll be doing uh, three games mostly, Lotro, Star Trek Online, and Team Fortress 2. Mostly Lotro. Um, some of you may have seen a lot of my stuff on uh, Christian Gamer Jolie's channel. Um, and I've also done some stuff on Ang Dang's channel and Bloodborne's Twitch stream. And, uh, so you may have seen me on one of those. Um, I, but, uh, so I'm back to making videos, and here we go. So I'm gonna show you guys. I recently got a paid account on Star Trek Online. So I got a bunch of benefits. Ooh. What's going on? One of which is the fact that I can now mine rich dilithium. So I'm going to sh uh, show you guys how to mine rich dilithium if you ever get a lifetime account for Star Trek. So let's get our quest. Rich dilithium daily claim thingy ma -bobber. The dilithium mining claim allows one mining attempt of rich dilithium vein at the asteroid mining field. You must have a mining claim with you, which I have a bunch right here, to lithium mining claims. Uh, at the asteroid mining field, you must have a, a mining claim with you, um, or in your regular bank in order to advance the mission, rich the lithium claim. So, let's accept that. to get 